If you turn with me to John 15, verse 26, I want to show you something from the scriptures that really touched my heart. Jesus says, when the helper comes, whom, that's a person, I will send to you from the Father. That is the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father. He will testify about me. The word that's used there for proceeds from the Father is the Strong's word 1607, which means actually to come forth out of. And it's interesting, this word is also used in Mark chapter 7, verse 20, where Jesus says that from the heart or proceeding out of the heart are all of these things from within. Remember, Jesus says it's not the things that are without that make a man unclean, but what comes from within him. It's the same exact word that is used here for this spirit proceeding forth from God. So from within, number one, number two, proceeds out of. Number three, Jesus says actions, intentions, desires, words, thoughts proceed from within. So the helper who comes to our aid, the spirit of God, he proceeds out from God. And it's very similar to what Jesus says about man, what comes out of his heart defiles him. But with God, what comes out of his heart expresses him. So we have the spirit comes from within him. The spirit flows out of him. And the spirit is his actions, his intentions, his desires, his words, and his thoughts. The spirit proceeds from within him. All of these are Christ because he says he proceeds from the father and he will testify about me. In other words, bring you into experiential contact with me because that is what a testimony is. What have you experienced. That's what the Spirit does. He brings us into the experience of Jesus. The Spirit makes Christ perceptible, knowable. And this is key for us. The helper is Strong's word 3875. It actually means, uh, it's, the word is actually para kaleo. Uh, I don't know Greek by any means, but it's P-A-R-A C-A-L-E-O, and it's a compound word, two words put together. This is what Jesus uses to describe the helper or the comforter. The first word para means to be beside, next to. (laughs) That's presence. The Holy Spirit is present with you. He is the presence of God. And next, kaleo is call, or sometimes this word is translated advocate or encourager. So he stands beside you as your advocate, as the one who is encouraging you, the one who is the means by which you hear the call of God. He is the witness of Christ. Jesus is the only one who uses this actual word. And he uses it four times. John uses it one time. In 1 John 2, 5, he uses this word, of Jesus when it says we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. But to me, I just thought it was so special to see that the Spirit is not independent from God by any means. I know everybody believes that. But to see what He actually is for us just in the word Jesus uses to describe Him. Some people say all the time to me, you know, uh, you can't, you can't, you know, associate the spirit of God with feelings. I mean, I understand what they're trying to say. Like my emotions are deceiving that are independent from him. My emotions independent from him are deceiving and I cannot trust them whatsoever. But in the new birth, we have someone given to us that makes us alive to God. And the scripture calls him, Christ calls him the comforter, the one who is beside you. And this word comforter itself implies a sensation, a, a feeling. And it sounds very shallow, but it is very much more than a feeling. But when you've been comforted before, you have felt soothed. You have felt just, uh, you felt that loving embrace and, and that hug that you need. 
Well, the Spirit is something like this, but yet so much more. No matter what happens to us in this life, we will always have the one who comforts us. That means he reminds us of the words of Jesus. That means he himself is a sense of God with us. And this in and of itself is enough to carry anyone through. Let me have his presence and I have everything. I remember Leonard Ravenhill once said, you can take my Bible, you can take the fellowship of the saints, you can take my freedom, but you cannot take from me his presence. You cannot take from me the comforter. You cannot take from me the counselor, the guide, the advocate, the strengthener, the standby, the helper, the intercessor. Oh, this precious one who is everything to us, proceeding out from the Father, revealing to us his intentions, his desires, his thoughts, his actions, all in the Spirit. And they testify, make Christ real to us. <laughs> I just, it moves me so much the precious person of the Holy Spirit. I encourage you that if your day to day is not lived in a constant exchange with him and an enjoyment of the spirit, then you've missed what he died to give to us. It is the spirit that makes Jesus real. The Bible tells us that if we don't have the spirit, we're not his. The scripture tells us that the spirit leads us into all truth. The scripture tells us that those that are led by the spirit, these are the ones that are sons of God. It is the Spirit Himself that quickens us. We put to death the deeds of the flesh by the Spirit. If you take the Spirit out of this Christian thing, it is lifeless dead and it is unable to save anyone. But it is the reception of the Spirit that is salvation itself. Life and peace happens inside of the soul that sets its mind upon him. As Romans 8 tells us, the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. Father, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. And I pray that those that are watching that have not been living attentive to the spirit, Lord, that you would quicken them today with joyful invitation to let the spirit rule because herein is heaven on the earth. Herein is the reality of Jesus where Jesus moves away from information and becomes a revelation. He moves away from doctrine and becomes person and life supply. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We praise you. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you can. And thank you to my patrons, those who have chosen to become $1 a month supporters. Some of you have chosen to do more, and I really thank you for it, especially in this time when I just yesterday received news again that uh, my Brazil trip is canceled. Uh, London has been canceled as well. So what was on our schedule has is really now scarce. We don't have much going on uh, because people are uh, are canceling, and I get it. But uh, those of you that have chosen to become patrons, really, it helps us continue in the ministry of preaching Jesus and trying to bring the church into a deeper experience of God's presence in their daily lives. So the new book uh, has come out. This is a daily trust. I think I, I made a video yesterday, but it is literally about what we've talked about today. The spirit of God experienced every single day. Um, so pick it up. I'll put a link down below in the description. God bless you guys. Don't forget about our e-courses. Those of you that are at home or, or uh, you know, you, you don't really feel comfortable going to church yet, whatever. I don't know where you're at in your mind, but we have made these e-courses so that you can, in the comfort of your own home, receive fresh encouragement from the Spirit that manifests Christ to you. We have one called the Jesus Letters. It goes through the revelation of Jesus in the seven letters to the seven churches. We have one called Enjoying His Presence that talks about how to enjoy God every single day and live by the same. And number three, we have a free one called uh, Unhindered Love, which talks about freedom from religion. Uh, by the person of Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. The Lord is with you. He loves you. He's for you. Wherever you're at in your life, you have a, a, a standby. You have a person with you. You have one in you. You have life supply from the Spirit. God bless you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Jesus speaks to us about prayer. He says, when you pray, 
go into your most private room and closing the door, pray to your father who sees in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you in the open. This actual text is what the entire course is going to be driving home. We must spend time with God. We're going to talk practically about how to experience him, experiencing and enjoying God from the scriptures. Thank you so much for signing up. I know the Lord is going to do something incredible in your life.